welcome we're going to be looking at the most repeated question or the most repeated topics in agricultural science for your senior secondary school certificate which is the YEC examination and um, before we start I would like to just give you a briefing on how students are evaluated in the examination. The examination has three papers, which is paper one, paper two, and paper three. Now, paper one consists of 50 multiple choice questions to be answered within 50 minutes for 50 marks. While paper two consists of six essay questions, and now you're expected as a candidate to answer five of those questions within two hours, 10 minutes. And that is for 90 marks. Now, paper three has to do with the practical examination or the practical aspects of agricultural science. And um, here you have four questions of which you must answer all of them. That's the four of them within one hour, 30 minutes. That's one and a half hours. And the marks awarded here is 60 marks. So we should understand that this examination covers three papers. We have paper one, two, and paper three. Now let's take a look at um, the most repeated topics in agricultural science for the YEC examination. Now here we're going to look at nine aspects. Nine aspects, and under each aspect we have several topics which as a student, you have to gain mastery of. So these aspects include basic concepts, agricultural ecology, agricultural engineering and mechanization, crop production, forestry, ornamental plants, crop protection, animal production, and lastly, agricultural economics and extension. So we're going to take a look at some of the topics under each of these aspects that as a student or as an agricultural science student, you must gain mastery of. So under basic concepts, you have to know the first topic we talk about here is, or uh, the first topic I'll mention is meaning and importance of agriculture. And under this topic, you have to know the definition, the branches, importance of agriculture. The next topic on that basic concept is problems of agricultural development and the possible solutions to those problems. The next topic is meaning and difference between subsistence and commercial agriculture with emphasis on the meaning, the differences, advantages, disadvantages, and problems of subsistence and commercial agriculture. Another topic here is Rules of government in agricultural development. Now, under the rules of government in agricultural development, there are certain areas you need to have a good grip on. We have agricultural finance, agricultural education, agricultural extension services, agricultural policies and programs, pest and disease control, establishment of research institutes. The next topic here is rules of non governmental organizations in agricultural development. Here you need to know the meaning, characteristics, examples, roles, aims, and objectives of the various non-governmental organizations in agriculture. The next topic is agricultural laws and reforms. We expected that you should know the meaning of land tenure the differences between the various types of land tenure systems in West Africa or Nigeria, government laws on land use in West Africa, the features, the advantages and disadvantages of the Land Use Act or decree. Now the next aspect, so we have dealt, talked about the basic concepts, the aspect of the basic concept with um, the various topics under which you must get to know. Now, the next aspect is agricultural ecology. And the topics here that we, you need to know include meaning and importance of agricultural ecology. And here you need to know the meaning of agricultural ecology and, and ecosystem. 
biotic and abiotic components and the interaction of these components in a terrestrial and aquatic agroecosystem. The next topic is land and its uses, with emphasis on the meaning, characteristics, and uses of land for agricultural and non-agricultural purposes. The next topic after this is factors affecting land availability for agricultural purposes. And here you need to know the physical, economic, and sociocultural factors. Next topic is agro-allied industries and the relationship between agriculture and industry. We also have another topic, environmental factors affecting crop and animal distribution and production. We have rock formation with emphasis on the types and processes of rock formation. So you need to know all the types and the processes of rock formation. Another topic under agricultural ecology is um, soil formation and profile development. We also have types, composition, and properties of soil plant nutrients and nutrient cycle, irrigation, everything about irrigation, the various types of irrigation, the advantages, the disadvantages, same as drainage. We also have agricultural pollution. And here you need to know the meaning, the sources of this pollution, the effects of land and pond pollution and agricultural production. So that aspect has to do with agricultural, ecology, all of these topics. Now, we also have another aspect which has to do with agricultural engineering or, me and or mechanization, as I mentioned earlier. And here, there are certain topics that you also need to have a good grip on as, a, as an agricultural science student. Here, we have simple farm tools. So you need to know the meaning, the types, and the general maintenance of these farm tools. We also have um, farm machinery and implements. Here you also need to know the various types of farm machinery, like um, tractors, tree pullers, bulldozers, you know, mowers. So these are some of the machineries that we um, have. And you should also know tractor coupled implements, like the, the plow, the harrow, the reger. So these are some of the examples of tractor coupled implement. Another topic under agricultural engineering and mechanization is maintenance practices and precautionary measures. And here you need to know the maintenance practices that are carried out on our farm machineries and the reasons for maintaining these farm machines. Another topic is agricultural mechanization. And here you need to know the meaning of agricultural mechanization, the advantages, the disadvantages, and the limitations experience in agricultural mechanization. We also have prospects of agricultural mechanization, farm power, farm surveying, farm planning, principles of farm stead planning. So these are the topics under agricultural engineering and mechanization that you have to have a good grip of. Another aspect is crop production. Now here, there are several topics that you also need to have a good grip of. And the first we have here is classification of crops. Next is husbandry of selected crops, like cereals, pulses, roots and tubers, vegetables, fruits, beverages, spices, oil crops, fibers, latex crops. So these are crops that you need to have a good knowledge about their production and the aspects that you need to understand or the areas under this crop husbandry or husbandry of selected crops that you need to have a good grip on are the botanical names, the, their common names, the varieties and types or types, the climatic requirements, the soil requirements, the land preparation, how the land is prepared, prepared before you cultivate these crops, the methods of propagation, the planting dates, the seed rate, spacing, sowing depth, the nursery requirements, because some of these plants require nursery practices before they are planted in the field, and all the cultural practices that are carried out while cultivating this crop, such as the weeding, fertilizer application, thinning, whether you need to prune, whether you need to um, 
um, of course, I've talked about fertilizer application. So these are some of the cultural practices that you need to know while um, cultivating these crops. Another topic under crop production is pasture and forage crops. You need to know about pasture and forage crops in details. You also need to know about crop improvements. So these are the topics you need to have a good grip of under crop production. Another aspect that you need to have good knowledge about in order to excel in this YEC examination is forestry. And there are some topics under forestry that you need to know. We have forest management. Here you must know the meaning of forest, the importance of forest, you should know about forest regulation and all the management practices. We also have another topic, agroforestry practices in West Africa. And here you need to know what is Tongia system, alley cropping, leaf farming, just to mention a few. So this has to do with forestry. Now the next aspect is ornamental plants. These are plants that have to do with beautifying our environment. So there's, you need to have a good knowledge of this aspect and there are certain topics or subtopics you need to know concerning ornamental plants, which is also known as floriculture. So here you have to know the meaning and importance of ornamental plants, the common types of ornamental plants, settings and locations for planting ornamental plants, the methods of cultivating our ornamental plants and how to maintain ornamental plants. The next aspect we're going to look at is crop protection. And here there are several topics too that you need to have a good group of that usually come out in the WIAC examination. We have diseases of crops. You should be able to know the meaning, the general effects, the causal organisms, the economic importance of various diseases, how they are transmitted, their symptoms, how they are prevented and controlled. Another topic under here as crop protection is pest of crops. Here you need to know the meaning, the, um, the classification, the control, some important insect pests of major crops, and also the economic importance of pests. And another topic under crop protection that you need to have a good grip of is weeds. You need to know the meaning of weeds, the types of weeds, the effects of weeds, the classification, and the method of control of these weeds. We have another aspect called animal production, and here there are several topics you also need to have a good grip of. You need to, the first one we'll talk about is types and classification of farm animals. How animals, the various types of animals and how they are classified. Anatomy and physiology of farm animals, animal reproduction, environmental physiology, livestock management, animal nutrition, rangeland and pasture management, animal improvement, aquaculture, which has to do with fishery, apiculture, which has to do with um, snail farming. Then you also have another topic here, routine management practices in farm animals. So all of these topics are very important for you to know in order to excel in this examination. And the last aspect we'll look at here is agricultural economics and extension. And there are several topics also under this aspect that you need to know. And the first we have here is basic economic principles, factors of production, principles of demand and supply, and the functions of a farm manager, the problems of a farm manager, agricultural finance, classes of farm credits, the capital market, farm records and accounts, marketing of agricultural produce, agricultural insurance, and lastly, agricultural extension. So I believe as, a, as an agricultural science student, if you're able to cover all of these aspects and have a good grip of these topics, you will excel in your examination. Best of luck. Thank <music> you.